Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Neoxfu. And last time, ooh. Wait a minute. Oh no, this is the third floor, okay. For a second I thought, wait a minute, we're on the second floor. But no, I, I did choose the right, the right level on the library. And last time, on Resident Evil 2, well, we used the spade key twice and used it all that we're ever going to need. We got a square, a square kank, crank, square kank, <laughs> and a bishop plug from a couple of puzzles. Well, not really puzzles. They were pretty easy, actually. Now we're going to see what's behind this door. On the ominous third floor, on the ominous third f floor of the precinct. And eventually, I'm gonna learn to press X instead of circle for confirm. I'm expecting another snaky. Oh! It's a clock. I, <clears throat> it's a clock. Sorry about that. Um, ooh. Oh, I thought we could take the tools. Um, I'm assuming, I think it's a clock. Square hole. Aha! For the crank. Uh, was there a clock outside? It seems to be broken, it won't work. Was there a clock outside, uh, on the outside of Raccoon Police Department? I don't remember if there was or not. But, you know, I'm- Oh! Huh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, I guess we can't use the crank again. Hmm. Um. So, there's a fourth floor to the precinct. Um. Hmm. And there's no music. I'm not liking this. Not liking this one bit. This is really setting me more on edge than anything else. It looks like a switch. Will you push it? No, not yet. I, whoa. <laughs> I want to thoroughly, thoroughly check the rest of this area. The iron plate seems to have been recently moved. Because I feel like as soon as... We start up the clock, something terrible is going to happen. Why would you even start up a clock? There's absolutely no reason to. Well, did that do anything? Or is it just... Well... Do we have to re add new gears and cogs or something? Oh, there is a missing gear. I just noticed that. Okay, so we can't start up the clog. Uh, the clog. <laughs> we can't start up the clock until we get a new co cog for it. <laughs> we can't start up the clog until we get a new O. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Um, I made a joke and I didn't even mean to. <laughs> I feel clever for once. Anywho's a Wetzel. Well, let's check out the second floor then. Perhaps we'll find a cog there. Perhaps we'll find a survivor. Perhaps we'll find the armory. Because, I mean, after all. Or maybe we'll find the person with the key to the armory. Even more important. Because... Apparently the armory is locked up tight. Oh boy! It's Resident Evil 1 again. What with, uh... Second floor zombies. Second floor zombies. Are we get enough ammo? Let's take out some of these guys. Although if this is anything like Resident Evil 1, I'm gonna regret using 
so much ammo. Alright, run by you. Hey, 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 buddy. Take that. <laughs> Thought you could get up again. I don't think so. I cannot aim right here. <laughs> there is absolutely no way for me to aim right now. Because there is no uh, sort of line of sight of any, 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 uh, any form. <laughs> Alright, now I can aim. No, no, no. Don't run after me. Fall. There, like the, like a good zombie. Can get up? Can get up? Okay, you're dead. You're down for the count. Alright, maybe we might leave this last zombie living for a little while. Uh, no, he noticed us. Wait, wait. There we go. Now get up. Get up. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you go. Take a couple of steps forward. Come on. Come on. Now stay down, you motherfucker. You, you jerk. Emergency ladder. Will you push the button? Yes. And I'm hoping that... Yeah, okay. Easy first floor, second floor access. Nice. Alright, that's actually a nice, um... That's a very nice change. Although, no. It's not really a change, because, I mean, the first game, it just... <laughs> it lets you go from the first floor to the second floor right away. Um... So I guess it's par for the course at this, at this point. Anyway. Moving on... Oh boy. This is some music. This is some music, indeed. <laughs> Should probably save once I'm done with this episode. Ooh, more magazines. Aw, oh, man, come on. Magazine rack, none of them look useful. You could have heard about the latest gossip and all that. This is just, uh, yeah, it's just a small key. You can go back to the, uh, room right before the library, I think, to gets to get what's in that desk secretary's diary a hmm what should I say what should I have their voice be <laughs> I should do the uh, secretary from Atlantis the lost empire <laughs> if I could do like the that kind of voice um where it's like just a minute mod <laughs> no just a minute mod let me put you on channel three I gotta <laughs> I can't do that kind of voice because it's it's not it doesn't have the right ta timbre I think that's the, the the way to pronounce it it doesn't have the right timbre anyway I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it when the chief found out he was furious I mean, swear the guy nearly bit my head off screaming at me to never touch the statue again if it's so important then maybe he shouldn't have put it out in the open like that if you like then you shouldn't put it out in the open like that okay that doesn't work never mind <laughs> um, I heard that all the art pieces from the chief's collection are rare items literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he finds those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them, or who would pay the money for those tacky things. I wasn't surprised to see the chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at that painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. Hmm. Maybe he was taking payoffs from Umbrella to turn the other way, and maybe that's why he was so, so wealthy. Ink ribbon? Yes, I will. Is that another typewriter? It is an old typewriter. Huh. No. <laughs> I'm going to wait until the end of the episode. Although. Although. 
perhaps I should take this uh, opportunity to save, since they're giving me a typewriter, as well as ink ribbons. Eight ink ribbons. You know what, let's save. Um, if we're going into the, chief into the chief's office, I feel like there's going to be something in that room that might not be the best of friends to us. Let's just put it that way. The waiting room for the chief's office. Or just the waiting room, you know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's wait and see. Oh, hello. You're from the uh, tutorial at the opening, at the beginning, where it's like, oh, you don't always have to kill kill things to get by in this game. Yes, I do. I have to kill everything. No, I didn't mean to go to file. I meant to go to map. Where are we? Alright, so that leads to the, uh... I don't know where that leads. But let's go this way since, um... Well, there seems to be fire sound. Oh, hello! I think you're in the wrong place, uh... Mr. Fireman. You're in a police station. Here. Let me put out those thoughts of grandeur you have. Oh good, we can't get set on fire by walking into them. Um. Looks like we might not be going to the chief's office after all. Hmm. Well. Damn. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Ooh, spooky corridor. Spooky foreboding corridor. With a spooky foreboding statue looking over me. Oh, that's not a statue, that's just... I have no idea what that is, actually. It looks like a statue at first, you know, like, right up there. I guess it's not. Hmm. <laughs> no. 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 I don't want crows. I don't want crows. Oh, it's out back. Well, maybe we can avoid the crows if there are crows. But wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh! Oh! I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Went the wrong way. <laughs> but I can hear those damn crows. I can hear them. Or ravens or whatever they were. I'm assuming they're crows. Ah, we can go this way. Aha. <gasps> you son of a bitch. You killed me enough times last time. Get back here. Get back here. I'm gonna kill you so much. You won't even know that you're undead. Get off of me! Get off of me! <laughs> yeah, take some of that. Take that, you dirty rat with wings. Look at him, he put us down into yellow. Zombies couldn't do that. This guy alive? Oh, you son of a bitch. Come on. I can swivel like this all day. Get over get get over here. Get get here. Get Get some get some Take that. No. Get. Oh yeah? He's been pecked to death? This bird's gonna be pecked to death with my frickin' knife. No no no. Don't think you can get up.
better be dead. You're still flapping. Doesn't mean dead to me. Anyway, he's been pecked to death. Yes, I'll take some handgun bullets. Good thing we're not really wanting for ammunition inside a police station. Oh wait, is there something in there? <laughs> Just back up slowly. Oh, it looked like there was something, like that was an alcove or something that held something. I guess not. I guess it's just a broken window where a crow swooped in and pecked him to death. Those bastards. Seriously, like, I don't think I have a war- I, I, I don't think there's any enemy that I, that I hate worse than those crows. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get off of me! Okay. Okay. Run, run, run. Oh. 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 I'm gonna come back, Crows. Once I get me some shotgun ammo, you will all pay. Check the- oh! Lovely. That's a helicopter that fell into the building, I think. Yep. It is. I'm gonna see you guys next time on Let's Play- Re Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio Fu. Let's just check this area, make sure there's nothing back here. Oh, looks like there's nothing back here. Oh! Well. There we go. Not, nothing up here at all. So I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.